Hey everyone, this is Whitehawk. Exploration Day 37 of Pikmin 3. Last time, I promised we would be finishing this game. But I was under the impression the final boss would be more in the traditional Pikmin 2 sense, in which case you just throw Pikmin at it until it dies. But no, this is one of those puzzle bosses where we have to solve the puzzle and with like two time limits of sorts. This can, is very complicated. Uh, I'm not sure how many Pikmin I want this time. Um, I'm probably gonna need lots of blues. I want as many of these I can as I can have. I guess the rest are gonna be these. Uh, maybe if I, I, maybe I charged up on the. Uh, Bitter spray, I'd be more prepared. Bitter, I keep calling it bitter, but I think it's the other kind. I can't remember. Olimar's still there. Is he? Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> and six Pikmin. Oh god! I keep making that mistake. Separate all the pigmen. So I can. Oh, I wasn't supposed to be here, but whatever. Come on. Wait, we're not done with this. Number eight. Aha, yes, got them all now. And this thing's over there, so we should be safe if we go like this. What am I supposed to find here? 
Ah, uh, what is this? Stick it. That's not what I need right now. <laughs> on ahead. Oh, goodness. Let's get the hell out of here. a secret passage for it to use wait yeah just used it Yeah, we lost one Pikmin, but... Oh, this is the way out. Okay, but... Yeah. Um... Hey, you just took him back! Um... Plasma Wraith. Attack the kind of bricks apart. Attack the wait, 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 wait. Let me read this again. Um Edition's life. That's my rate. No, wait, that's Mysterious Life One. Attack the fragments when it breaks apart. Okay, attack the fragments. Okay. Okay, for the final boss, this is quite. It's, this creature is quite passive. Shrink more, please. Well, what the? Um, I guess that's his weak point. No, 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 no. <laughs> Didn't work this time. OK, 
Okay, this is a very complicated boss. Oh, what the? Wait, it's got two of those things. What's this? Duh. Hello everyone, this is Whitehawk. Oh. How can we know its name now? My goodness, this is just a slaughter. No yellow Pikmin? Are you serious? Oh, oh! Nothing left for you to absorb. I'll restore some energy with this. Oh my goodness, there's three! Hurry up. Um. Oh, fine. I might actually. Oh, no. No. It's almost dead. That's the thing. How?
It's almost done! It's almost done! Yes! Just in time, finally. Except only 10 seconds left. Sorry for absolutely no commentary on that fight, guys. Just... I'm just... I'm, like, I can comment on it now. This was really a confusing fight, and it's, it takes so long just to... Like, I, I couldn't deal with the glass type of remnant, because uh, I had no rock Pikmin with me. So, I guess I really should have brought 20... Oh. Hmm. <laughs> No, really. Yeah, you say that it is. That's not treasure, that's ours. Yeah, that that old ship is is completely done with. Oh my God, Louis, just just die. Well, maybe not die, but just starve to death. Yeah. yeah. Sorry for the comment. Anyway. I can't- I'm sorry I didn't comment at all during that boss fight. It's just, I'm trying to focus- I'm trying to focus on just defeating all of the little remnants and- And it, I was just cutting it close too, uh, just 10 seconds- Wait, what the- Well, I- It was still there, but I guess I didn't completely kill it, but I did defeat it. What, why did that thing was so... Why was that thing so obsessed with Olimar anyway? Hmm. Anyway, again, sorry I couldn't comment on that boss fight. I just... I was I was considering just like... Trying to get to... Back to the... Ship and getting more rock figment. Because that's, that was the one... One uh, type of remnant that I could not deal with. And I, I ran out of yellow pigment somehow. So I could not deal with the... Yellow electrical electrical remnant either, and yet somehow I managed to beat the the boss with less than well less than ten game time seconds. And so the intrepid explorers successfully complete their mission. After securing a bountiful supply of edible matter and learning the valuable lessons of planning and teamwork. The explorers are set to become the saviors of their home planet. Under their guidance, the seeds they've recovered will be used to kick off a sustainable cycle of cultivation and harvesting, thus bringing new life to Kopai. However, one question remains. What was the cause of the accident that sent the mm. SS Drake hurtling to PNF 404 surface? Perhaps it was Maybe I need to get all those secret files to all. unlock this. I got like seven, I think. Six, maybe. Oh. Well, I guess this is time to, for me to fess up. I've played this since this morning. And... When I say this morning, I started part one this morning, which means I've played this game non-stop for an entire day. It's 11, 12 p.m. right now, so roughly played for at least 15 hours, I'd say. I'm not counting very well. Uh, I took a few breaks, of course, but s s someone told me that this game was short and... I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. This is... Like, people... people when, game, when the GameCube Pikmin came out, people criticized it for being extremely short, and... I... You know what? It was short. Like, you could beat it in 10 hours first time you tried to play it, but... The thing is, is... Who cared? 
who, like, well, I guess a lot of people care, but I didn't care because uh, it was tremendously fun and easy to replay as well. And this game, this game was not short. Uh, even though I've been like in one day, I do not agree that this game was short. There's lots to do and there's lots to plan about it. You're gonna get caught, Yellow Pigeon. <laughs> no, you didn't. Hmm. Anyway, uh, how this game rank ranks on uh, between all the three Pikmin titles, Pikmin one, two, three. Well, it's hard to tell right now because I just played this in one day and I have to digest how, what I thought about it. First of all, I think I personally think the final boss battle was probably the best one. Or the most balanced one. The first boss battle, you could easily cheese that one by easily using bombs and just like sacrificing your yellow Pikmin on the, the bul Bulbacks, Emperor Bulbacks. Just sacrificing your bombs right into his mouth and just wailing on him with red Pikmin, which made it easy. And the second boss, well, he couldn't physically attack you himself. He just used the, the treasures he had to f finish you off. And as long as you knew what you were doing, he would never actively get you, or he would get you only a few times. This one, you actually, you actually have to go through that first segment, that entire puzzle segment, and there's multiple ways to going about it too. And then there's the final part where you actively need, like you you need to have as many types of Pikmin to, to beat to, to defeat him because uh, he uses all five weaknesses. You need flying Pikmin to get him. You need the uh, yellow Pikmin to get that uh, electrical remnant. You need the uh, rock Pikmin for the glass one. You need Pik every type of Pikmin. But you know this is just like right off my impression after just beating this game for the first time after one day of playing it. So uh, I might change my opinion later. Anyway, I've heard there's multiplayer in this game. Hmm. Maybe I should play with my sister. Um, I think I'm going to see what this there is to see here. A final report, of course. All fruits. And we lost tons of Pikmin. I only have 12 reds ones left. Really? And this is my best five. Okay, so being 37 days, that was... That's pretty bad. <laughs> Probably my second playthrough of this game was some beat in like 15 days. Oh, and this is a tile screen, which we did not see the first time we booted up this game. Hmm. And we got story, mission, and bingo battle. And it's version 1.10. Anyway... That'll be it for it now. This is the final video of uh, the story mode of Pikmin 3, unless there's something else I can get, like those uh, secret files that uh, that are scattered around the world. I'll probably have to go to GameFAQs or use the comment section to help me there. Uh, I'm gonna be, since, yeah, whatever. This is Why Talk. I enjoyed this game. You should try it too, especially if you have a Wii U. Wii U doesn't have many games out right now, and whatever games do come out on it, they're definitely gonna get popular easily. Uh, thank you for so much for watching this video, and I do hope that if I make another video about this game, you'll be there to see it too. And I hope you all have a very nice day. This has been Pikmin 3.